Today we will be making a rich, creamy leave-in conditioner. It's extremely hydrating, nourishing, and it is the perfect product for after when you wash your hair, when your hair is still damp. And you could just apply this to add a boost of hydration. The first step of this process is our water phase, and we are adding 113.75 grams of distilled water. And now we will be adding one of the best plants for moisturization and hydration. It is our aloe vera gel. I'm adding 90 grams of aloe vera gel. This was some gel that I extracted from my plant about two weeks ago. You can use store-bought aloe gel if you do not have access to the plant. Make sure that it is organic. Our next ingredient is glycerin, as well as guar gum. Glycerin is a humectant. It draws water from the atmosphere and moisturizes your hair. The other ingredient is guar gum. This will add conditioning properties to your hair. And what we need to do is add the guar powder to the glycerin and then mix that. It helps to ensure that everything is mixed in properly. And now for our second phase, we've got the oil phase and I am adding the emollient Brazil nut. It prevents dryness and conditions your hair. And we also have the baobab oil, which has its origins in Africa. And the oil is cold pressed from the seeds that are from the tree. They call the tree the tree of life. We are also adding an emulsifier. This is Olive M1000. You could use BDMS as well, but this is what I have on hand. And now we have our co-emulsifier. This isn't a primary emulsifier, acetyl alcohol, and we're adding 2.5 grams. And so this is I always thought that this was a was the primary emulsifier, but I was wondering why my some of my mixes did not become emulsified, and it was because you cannot use acetyl or acetyl alcohol on its own. You have to have a primary or a emulsifier, which is either BTMS 50, BTMS 25, Olive M 1000, or else your Oils and waters will not mix. We did also add shea butter to this mix. It's 7.5 grams. I forgot to mention that earlier. And so now what we are doing here is we are adding the water phases together. Previously, you just saw me adding all of the oil phases in one container. And now we are adding all the water phases. And now we are getting ready to heat our water so we're doing a double boiler method and this prevents direct exposure to heat and now I am adding 10 grams of castor oil this is a rich thick oil I'm also adding 2.5 grams of vitamin E now you did see me put the vitamin E with the oils don't do that the vitamin E is the last oil to be added in the cool phase so that was not done correctly. So now I am warming up my oil phases. This contains all of the oils as well as the emulsifier and the coal emulsifier. You want to warm this up until it is thoroughly melted, no solids. And now we are adding the oil mix to the water phase and you want to keep on stirring. You want to activate the emulsification process. This can be kind of tricky because if you don't do this right, then you will have solid pieces in your mix. So you have to heat both the water and the oil phase at around the same temperature. And then once mixed, you have to pour the oil into the water phase and quickly begin stirring. And so this is what I'm doing here. First I'm using my, I'm doing it manually and then I'm using, I have a hand whisk. I got this from Amazon. I will provide the link below. So you want to keep mixing here, keep whisking, 
keep whisking and the mix will eventually thicken up on its own. And now what you saw me add was the vitamin E that I should have added. Um, I should not have heated that. And now what we're doing is I'm just stirring and stirring. And you see this is becoming thicker. This is such a cool process. I would say it took probably about 20 minutes of thoroughly um, whisking and manually whisking to get this texture. And now we are in the cool down phase. And this is again, this is when you add your essential oils and your antioxidants as well as your preservatives. I am adding white grapefruit. If you guys have not smelled this, it smells so fresh. It's so delightful. So I'm adding some essential oils here. The maximum that you want to add is 2.5 grams. So I added a little less than that. And now I'm just incorporating all of, of that yummy goodness. Well, not yummy, but it smells really good. Um, I'm just mixing all that into our beautiful silky leave-in conditioner. And now I am adding our preservative GeoGuard 221s. By the way, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like and comment, and let me know what you think about this leave-in conditioner so far. Do you use leave-in conditioners in your hair? It's a good idea to use them. It really helps to add that boost of hydration to your hair, especially after wash day and when your hair is damp, but this is when I use it. And so now we are just, look at this. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. I'm sorry guys, but this just looks so, so, so good. So I'm now pouring this mix. So I've added the preservative, preservative added my antioxidants, which is the vitamin E. And now look at this texture. It's like a souffle. It's so nice. And it's not super thick. And that's the whole point. Like you don't want it to be extremely thick. And now what I'm doing is checking the pH. I want it to fall anywhere between 4 and 5.5. And we can adjust the pH by adding some citric acid. And so just checking again, and this looks okay. And I'm just continuing to mix. So with any sort of hair regimen, you want to be consistent. That's, the, that's really the key, being gentle, being consistent, and also keeping a hair log, keeping a log of when your wash day is, when your next protective style is, and maintaining and checking in on your hair. That is what has grown my hair. Some of the parts are to hip length. The majority of the parts are to waist length. And then I have some that are mid back length. And then my bangs are to about armpit length. You see here, I'm just showing the texture of the leave-in conditioner. This will last at least up to three months unrefrigerated. And so I'm just showing you my hair here. So it has all different types of lengths, as I was saying before. And so the goal is to grow it completely out. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your week.